All right, so it's spring break season and I decided to take a little trip to the UK, not because of, you know, the warm weather they definitely had, but no, I wanted to go fast and I mean like really, really fast. So I began scouring the internet and asking my friends on what the best place to cart in the UK was to kind of satisfy my craving and they all seemed to decide on one single place and that was Daytona Milton Keynes. However, I wasn't going there, definitely not because of my hatred for Red Bull, but it was too far it was like an hour and a half so i decided on daytona sandown park instead it was like 30 minutes from where i was staying so i decided it was perfect so i then went and booked the dmax kart race online and drove all the way out there disclaimer it was a really really wet session i have never drove anything this fast before so don't be surprised if some of the driving is um como se dice sketchy as hell but before we get started, just do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment on how you're feeling today. It really helps me out a lot, guys. It helps produce more videos just like this one. So if you like it, do me a favor, go down, hit the subscribe and like button. It means the world to me. And with that, let's get right into the video. So after an hour Uber drive and a quick driver's briefing, we finally got out to track. No one told me to grab a wetsuit, so I was a little soaked after the session. After that, we finally went out for our practice slash qualifying session and yeah, it was uh, it was kind of rough for everyone. So instead of making you watch shit driving for the next 15 minutes, here's a um, little montage to sum it all up. So after all of that, I was able to qualify P15 out of 23. I didn't think it was too bad, especially given all the shunts I had, I thought I was gonna be dead last. But anyway, onto the rolling start. The rolling start was kind of botched. This guy was telling us to slow down while we were trying to catch up to everybody. Anyway, I tried my best to catch back up to the pack, but the tires were really cold because we were sitting on the track for like 10 minutes. So the rolling start goes, we all go down the main straight and uh, yeah, I kinda, I could have started better. Right at the start, there's probably a 5 tenth to a second gap between me and P14. I got a little too overzealous on the brakes and just ended up spinning, locking the rears. At least it wasn't on my own though, like five other people spun with me. I then rejoined the track, but now I knew I had a ton of work to do to try to get some positions back. The good news is the track is pretty slippery, so a lot of people were spinning, so I ended up being able to gain some places back relatively quickly. This guy right here had a little moment on the straight, so I took that spot back relatively easily. He managed to recover pretty well though, going into turn one, he definitely put some pressure on me. To be honest, at this point I had no idea he was there. Right here I kind of noticed, so I just tried to hold my line the best I possibly can. I know the tires are still a little bit cold, so I didn't want to push too, too hard. Right here I kind of overshoot the apex but managed to get back into a good position to defend this next corner. He definitely gets a better exit than me, so I'm under pressure going all the way down this main straight. So I'm gonna try to be as late on the brakes as possible, but the tires are still too cold, so I completely missed the apex and gave him room up the inside. He's gonna take the position and I'm gonna have to try to get it back now. I go for the inside line going into this corner. Neither of us have much grip, so it didn't really affect much, but I managed to get pretty close to him, but his straight line speed over mine was a little bit better. From here, you pretty much managed to pull away for about a lap. Literally a lap later, I managed to catch up a little bit more and he's gonna have a little bit of a moment here. He's gonna spin going into this corner. I'm gonna narrowly avoid him and just go around the outside to take that position back. He's gonna recover pretty well though, so it's not over. I'm gonna have to defend in the next couple corners, but I was all right. Now I was onto my next overtake. I'm gonna get pretty close to this guy going into the same couple of corners I had my last overtake in. We're both gonna come through this corner, have pretty similar lines. He's gonna have a bit more exit speed than I do, but more exit grip. I thought I had a little bit of a gap here to get the overtake done, so I try to send it down the inside late in the brakes. He closes it off pretty well, so now we go into the next series of corners. He's gonna take these corners slower than I do, but I'm gonna have better exit speed coming out of these series of corners, which is gonna be a good run on him here. Almost made contact, but we managed to avoid it. Now we're going down the back straight. Right here, he definitely has some better grip coming out and has a lot more exit speed than I do. 
So I'm just gonna have to try to play catch up here. Late on the breaks going into the turn one. I closed the gap mid corner pretty significantly and I'm gonna have some better exit speed coming out. I'm gonna send it down the inside and just have to force him to take the long way around. The breaks are actually better than I thought here. So I managed to get on the apex and defend the next two corners relatively well. But it's not over yet. Again, he's gonna have some pretty good straight line speed. So going down this next straight, he's gonna get relatively close to me. I'm not gonna be able to see anything because of the glares. So I end up outbreaking myself. He's going to get a little happy because he sees the inside gap and ends up spinning. So that's that battle taken care of. All right, time for the next overtake. Back on this back straight again, going down. I'm going to be super late in the breaks here and try to close the gap. And yeah, I just spin. Um, don't really know what I was thinking there. I probably could rejoin the track earlier here too, but I ended up letting the guy just pass, get past me as well. So I definitely have some work to do. Luckily, a lap later, I was able to close the gap and he spins in the same exact corner. So we get that position back relatively easy. And then coming back onto the back straight, uh, have a little bit of a moment. This the grip just wasn't there at all. Going back onto turn one, we're going for another overtake here. We're gonna send it from a long way away and able to close this gap pretty well. I don't really know what happened to him here, but we're gonna send in a dive bomb. Get the overtake done. However, he's gonna try to pressure us. He's gonna have a little bit of a slide. We're gonna park ourselves in the apex and that should just be that move done. At this point, we just had some time to make up to get some more positions. Going to here, we had a yellow flag. Someone just spun, but hey, I'll take the position. The spin actually ended up helping us though, cause the guy that was behind him had to slow down and he is now in front of us. So we're gonna start to catch him here on his back straight. We're gonna take a better line and we're definitely gonna be able to close the gap a bit here on this back straight. Going into this back corner, it was a little hard. As you can see, the glare was pretty bright, so it was really hard to see where you're going, but I actually ended up to nail the corner, um, which gives us a really good run on him going onto this back straight. Our exit speed here is actually gonna be pretty good and we're gonna be able to close the gap even more. I'm gonna go for a super, super late break and actually get the stick this time and close the gap. He's gonna go wide and we're gonna have just enough more exit speed on him to get the move done. Now it was time to chase the guy who's just in front of us here. Going onto the main straight, we were able to get pretty close in turn one, just outbreak him, have some better exit speed. We're gonna try to make it stick around the outside. Almost been in here actually, ended up halfway off the track. He's gonna defend pretty well into the corner. I'm gonna have to send it here in a dive bomb super late in the breaks and I actually get it to stick. Wasn't the easiest move to pull off, but once we got it done, he never caught up again. Now this was probably the most heartbreaking part of the race. I'm just going to take a little bit too much entry speed here and end up spinning. No one's going to get past us. We're able to get back on the track relatively quickly, but now we're definitely going to put ourselves under pressure. You can see me looking back here. They were a lot closer than I thought they were going to be. So now we're going to have to defend relatively hard. They had more momentum and better rhythm than I did at this point. So I was just going to try to hang on as much as possible. My tires were also got a little bit dirty, so that definitely wasn't helping me at all. Going down the back straight, I definitely was feeling the pressure and probably made the biggest mistake of the race. Just break way too late let two people pass us and now we get back on the track and now we're under pressure by two more carts so not the best situation under the main straight and you can see just how much they had closed the gap almost right alongside me going into turn one i'm gonna push just a bit too hard end up going off the track a bit and spring up some water give me a compromise entry into the next corner I'm gonna have to defend the apex pretty hard and defend the next apex pretty hard as well because they're gonna be trying to get a run on me. It's compromised on my line a bit, but I was able to get pretty good exit speed on here. You can see me checking behind to see where exactly they are. Going to the next corner, I'm gonna have to break and one of them's gonna go off. The other one's gonna send it up the inside and knock it at the stick, but I got a little bit too comfortable and ended up giving up the inside. I wasn't able to get very good traction coming out and there he went. At this point, I was honestly completely flustered. I go to send it down the inside here and completely lose it. My tires were too dirty for that. And the guy who spun also overtakes me. So at this point, I had left four people by me and it was honestly kind of heartbreaking. By the time I caught back up to within overtakeable range, the race was over. So four people by me, I ended up finishing P9 out of 23. Not the worst, but as a P5, I completely threw away. To be fair, it was my first race outside, and honestly, I was pretty happy with P9 after it. I learned so much during this race, and to be honest, I just used the struggles in this race as motivation towards the future, and just stuff to know not to do next time, like send it down the inside on the brakes and make the same mistake over and over again, but it is what it is. That's pretty much the race, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, again, leave a like down below. Hit that subscribe button. It means the world to me. I have a ton of awesome stuff coming out within the next couple weeks. So if you guys can subscribe and maybe hit that little bell, that would make my day. 
But again, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.